Your Google Ads location settings can literally make or break your entire campaign. If you don't have these set up properly, then there's no real hope of having much success. <laughs> so let's take a deep dive into the Google Ads location settings, what they all mean, what they all do, and all that good stuff. So we're running a Google Ads search campaign, and we have it selected from the left column here. After we've selected the Google Ads campaign, we'll be able to see all the different uh, settings for this campaign. If we click on the actual settings section here, that's going to allow us to then see the location settings. And there's this little drop down where we can expand this out. Now, looks pretty simple and straightforward. There's only a couple of things you can even really do here. But <laughs> don't be fooled. There are actually a couple of settings most people aren't even aware of that we see all the time. People, you know, they don't have it set up right. And so it's giving them leads and calls and stuff from places that they don't even serve. So I'm going to show you a couple of pro tips that you can implement to ensure that you're not getting those people that are calling from, you know, a different country or a different state or what have you. So we're looking at the location settings here, right? Uh, the, the main actual targeting is going to be done through this first section. So by default, it's going to be set to all countries and territories. Uh, most people are not going to be ending up using that setting. Uh, most people will use the enter locations option where you're basically manually telling Google where to target. Uh, and there are you know plenty of businesses that just do the United States or just the United States and Canada. But for most of you, it's probably going to be you entering in locations manually. Now, when you do this, it's going to start like this. And rather than just start typing stuff in here, I like to just use this advanced search feature makes things super easy. You have this whole map here that you can look at. So let's say we want to target Phoenix, Arizona. So we could just type in Phoenix, Arizona, click target. The only thing is this is kind of a major metropolitan area and the actual city of Phoenix is only one small part of what most people would consider to be the whole of Phoenix, which is like this whole valley here to include Scottsdale and Mesa and Gilbert and Chandler and all these other suburbs of Phoenix, right? In much the same way that Los Angeles and New York City are set up. So if we are like, okay, we want to target more than just Phoenix, the city, we actually want to target everybody in the valley here. What we can do is switch over to a target radius. Now when we put Phoenix in and click target, it's actually going to just put a pin right in the middle of Phoenix and then draw a radius 20 miles around and that's going to be our targeting. Now this actually looks pretty good. This would probably work, but it looks like there's some areas out here that are that are not really getting picked up by this radius. So we could come back here, click on the edit tool, switch this over to maybe uh, 30, 30 mile radius. And that actually looks pretty good. So maybe that's what we end up deciding on. Um, we don't really need that other location. If you're doubling up location targeting, it's not going to cause any real issues. Uh, I mean, I could have just left that in there. But once we have the actual location targeting set, let's say we want to expand it a little bit further, uh, then we can click Save. Now, what I was talking about earlier was when you set a target location like this, most people, what they assume is this means that the ads are going to show to anyone who is inside of this circle. Like if, if, you're, if, you're, if you live right here or work right here or always spending time right here or over here or over here, uh, Google's going to show the ads to you, right? Well, there's one catch. If you expand this location options section here, most people don't even realize that this section is here, but there's these two tricky little settings here for targeting and excluding your audiences based on location. And by default, this is actually going to be set to presence or interest. Now, if you're going to set a target location like Phoenix, Arizona, it's probably because that's the area that you serve, right? So having it show up to people who are expressing interest in that area, but that maybe are not necessarily located in that area is not going to be super helpful. So by default, it's not only going to show to people who are located in your area, meaning they have a presence in your area, 
but it's also going to show to people who are expressing interest in your area, right? So what that means is somebody might actually live in Tucson right here and they're shopping around getting price quotes and they're like, man, this seems really expensive. Is it more expensive in Phoenix? They call over to Phoenix, but they don't actually live in Phoenix and they're not actually looking for services in Phoenix, but they just searched for like Phoenix auto detailers and they expressed interest in that area. Well, that means the ad would still show to people in Tucson so long as they're searching for Phoenix Auto Detailing or Phoenix Plumbers or Phoenix Electricians or whatever you're going after here. So I pretty much always go ahead and just switch this over. Now there are some situations where, in fact, there are situations where you would just use interest-based location targeting. So let's say we own a uh, vacation rental property in Phoenix, Arizona, but we don't rent it out to people in Phoenix, Arizona. In fact, that's like 1% of the people who rent out uh, the rental is people in Arizona. In fact, 99% of the rentals are from all these other states around Arizona, theoretically speaking, right? Well, if that's the case, if we're not actually getting any traffic from within Arizona, then we could still target Phoenix and then just put search interest and that's going to show our ads to anyone who's expressing interest in in you know whatever terms we have in the area we've selected. So Phoenix, Scottsdale, Tempe, essentially any of these little suburbs that somebody searches for you know auto detailing Scottsdale, auto detailing Gold Canyon, um, it would essentially recognize that they're searching for or they're, in, they're showing interest for our target area, and so it would show our ads to them. So for most people who are doing local-oriented, service-based businesses, it's going to be presence in, right? Then excluding, it's going to work the same way, although it's not nearly as important. Most people don't even use exclusions, uh, but even so, if you're excluding somebody who has a presence in or interest in, um, it, it can kind of be, I mean, essentially you just, you don't want anyone from that area no matter what. So whether they have an interest in that area or they're present there, then yeah. So not as big of an impact to have this left here. So whatever you end up setting up up here is actually going to be greatly influenced by these two hidden settings down here. And just by switching from presence or interest over to presence, you'll find that the people that are showing, that your ads are showing to is gonna change drastically. So make sure you do not forget to set these properly alongside of the rest of your Google Ads location settings, and then don't forget to save it as well once you're done. If there's anything you have questions about in terms of Google Ads location targeting, uh, or location settings or anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to you there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue, like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's gonna explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.